Hello, everybody. Today, I got a BAM box and a BAM box. Um, I happen to get them both at the same time. Horror and original. Um, since I have both these boxes, I get a lot of questions. I'm a moderator on the community, amongst other things. Um, I do with BAM, but there's a lot of questions about new members about what is an art upgrade. We have a lot of contests over there of, um, pick a fandom this or show off your house or whatever. And people are confused what an art upgrade is. Well, I'm going to show you one because I get it in my box because I'm a moderator. Um, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, so let me open one. Here, I don't know if it's horror or regular. Sometimes there's a sticker, but I am working to see how we can differentiate the box a bit. We got, oh, got horror paper. So in here we've got, uh, was it four items, I think in this box, five items. Five items in here. Welcome back. Um, the fandoms are, I'm looking at spoiler sheet. I know what's in it, but I can't remember. <laughs> uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, three. Um, it, 2017. Pumpkinhead, The Exorcist. And another Nightmare on Elm Street item. So, Let's go with the pin. The pins were pumpkin head. Now, when you get an art upgrade, you win. There's three different tiers of pin. The regular pin, the 250 limited pin, and a 99 limited pin. The 250 and 99 will have numbers on the back. And you'll get one of... Sometimes you'll get a, an, a one up in your box. You'll get all three of those, plus all the art variants for that month. So, let's start out with Pumpkinhead. There's the regular one, because there is no number right there. That is how you will know. On the back, it says Pumpkinhead designed by Lab Preacher. Okay? Second one is limited to 250. There is the pen. There is the number. And on the back, it said this pen has a limited release of 250 on the back of the button pin sorry there is also number 251 of 500 or whatever but in this case it would be under 250. number three there is limited and of 99 and on the back it'll say limited of 99 so the card is unique to the pin all right Let's find the art in here. The art. Ooh, that's cool. Sometimes I don't see the items before I get them. There has been a lot of these I've seen recently. Um, that is The Exorcist. It's a print, but it's modeled after an old VHS tape. Okay. The variant is right here. So it's very similar, but different. This one is 321 of 500. This one is 141 of 2000. So I transposed them. The, the uh, This one's the variant. Okay. I was at Walmart and they had Blu-rays of 90s movies, 80s movies. And they had a, a cover is a VHS tape with it slid out a little bit. That's kind of cool. Okay, next item is a prop replica, and it's a very simple one. Not everything is needs to be fancy and of value, but I find it kind of cool. It's a wanna poster when um, Richie had a dream flashback of him missing, and here is the wanted poster of that he pulled out of. Uh, 
with the wall or some kind of a pile or something like that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, okay, our other prop is heavy metal, but it's a mini version of Elm Street. Um, I personally would prefer it to be a little darker because it reminds me of like the Sesame Street color, but <laughs> I'm being picky. Um, but it's kind of cool. It's small, but it's, it's metal. It'll hold up in there, but it's a mini one. There we go. Now, lastly, in the once each and every box, you will get an autograph. This month, and it has certificate authenticities on the back, you got the 8x10 BAM horror photo has been hand-signed by Ira Hayden, who played Will, Wizard Master. In Nightmare on Elm Street 3, the Dream Master is hand-signed or a private sign with the BAM box. There we go. The Wizard Master. There are different variants on this. Um, there's, you can also get an autograph upgrade, which you'll get a limited 99. Um, it'll be limited and numbered on the corner of 99. Let me find my spoiler sheet. So you've got your prints right there. Limited 99 would be the, the European poster right there. There's your pens. There's your art. So that's an art upgrade right there. And you can... There's a poster of them holding the poster at a convention. And then, if you go to the community, the bambox.com slash community, I'll put the link down below. And you can win a Robert England signed 11 by 14 photo inscribed B-A-S. B-A-S. Huh. Head to the community page to enter... Okay. And then also, um, there is also in the pack, you can win instant winners and also instant items. They drop, um, if they have, you know, an extra autograph in the warehouse, Adam does. He'll uh, make a little card, a certificate, and you can win a golden ticket for a special item. Screen used item, um, all kinds of different stuff. Comic books from Stanley, stuff like that. And you can also, this is the promotion this month, to win a Robert England autograph. And that is it for Let's go to the original, or pop culture box, as we call it now. Because that way, it tells people what's inside. Original doesn't really say anything. Alright, similar. Black paper. Now we'll start with the pins again. And a similar motif. You'll have a 250, a 99, and a regular. Here they are from oh, uh, gosh. I've never seen this movie. Hocus Pocus, that's what it is. I'm terrible. Um, different artists every month. These ones are from Creator Destroy. There we go. Some people love them, some people hate them. It's an art artist's interpretation. Not every pen looks exactly like the person. You try drawing your pen, it's tough. There's a regular one. I give you her name, but I have no idea. Um, here is the 250 with the little, I don't know, based on the picture, little gimpy sister. Looks like she had a little robe on. And there is Miss Sarah Jessica Parker and her little pin right there trying to act a little tough. Limited of 99. And... In this box, one of the props, you could have got a Rorschach from, uh, what, what was that movie? Uh, Watchmen or a Spider Man. I got Spider Man. There we go. That's a pretty cool mask. Should I put it on? Yeah, I probably should, huh? Mess up my hair. Took me a good three minutes to do this hair. All right. Should I do the rest of the video like this? I can try. Doesn't really fit me well, but I don't have a Spider-Man face. More like, you know, Peter Porker. That's me. <laughs> so, oh my God. I can't do it.
the other prop was Ace Ventura. The little business cards he handed out. Ace Ventura Pet Detective. To serve and protect your pets. Boom. <laughs> Dorbs. You know, some people, you know, give us flack for these. I find them funny. They're cute. Put them up, up on a shelf. When you have a display of something, little things like this is what flushes it out. And as, as itself, no one, nobody has an Ace Ventura Pet Detective card or collection. You put it up on a mantle and people are like, what the hell is that? There you go. Conversation starter. All right. The prints. They were a little different this month. There is four total prints. And I think they're pretty damn nice. These have been one of the, the best prints I've seen for a while, artistically wise. However, the size is weird. It's almost like a comic book size. And I know I keep hitting the camera because of the front of this box. All right, let's turn it sideways. So we got, those are the limited ones. Let me show you the regular ones. All right. In our collection, of Labyrinth has been hand signed by Chris Oz Fulton for the BAM box. Look at that. That's a pretty cool print. I love the style. That fits perfectly with uh, the way that movie poster looked and how it felt. But, I mean, the characters look really good too. Look at that. She looks just like her. That is pretty cool. Now, on these, are limited of $750. And there's a purple top here. The limited for five for two fifty has a green top. And there's the other one. I'm trying to hold this box up, it's not working. Damn the gravity. <laughs> so there's four of them. Two purple. And you go to the community and trade and collect. Now, in this one, it had an autograph for the first time different people same movie now typically there isn't horror personalities in a pop culture box but it was October so it did but the fact that they were both in the same movie kind of connected it together it was kind of cool you connect them but this one we have Jennifer Rubin who was Karen in Nightmare on Elm Street 3 cool autograph it's a cool one me and Marie met her at a convention recently and got a Nightmare on Elm Street 3 poster signed. There we go. Her hair is higher than mine. Cool. And the spoiler sheet. There's the three you could have got. There's a limited 99 right there. And the movie poster. There's the other shot you could have got. There are the prints. There are the pins, so you get the pins and the prints in an auto upgrade, or art upgrade. And there's the Rorschach mask that everyone's looking for, and Spider-Man. And then for the community giveaway, you could win a Spider-Man 500 signed by Stan Lee and J. Scott Campbell. That's pretty sweet. I can never win this stuff. It sucks. Try bribing him. Won't work. Try putting it over time. Won't work. <laughs> All right. And then, once again, you've got your winners, your upgrades, and you can get golden tickets. Okay, that is the BAM box for October, horror, and original. I've talked for 15 minutes. I'm sure you've already swiped through half of this video. So that is an art upgrade. If you have any questions, message me down below or go to the community and we'll help you out there. I'll put the link down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.